Last time, we created a Kubernetes cluster and set up the new stack driver, monitoring and logging on it. Today, we're going to set up alerting to let us know if there are any issues with our application running on that cluster. This is the Stack Doctor. What can we do to get an early heads up that something's going wrong? Well, the first thing to do is to figure out what our service level indicators, or SLIs, should be, and then have Stackdriver let us know if and when our application might be in danger of violating the service level objectives, or SLOs, will define. Now, you may be thinking, wait, SLI, what's that? Well, an SLI is the metric we'll measure and use as a proxy for user happiness. For our service running on our GKE cluster, we're primarily going to care about two things, latency and availability. We'll want to know if and when either of those drops below our desired thresholds. But how? The great news is that Stackdriver gives us an easy way to do what we want with alerting policies. Let's set one up for availability now. Well, but first, what should we use as our SLI? The first option is pretty straightforward. We simply have the application output all errors to standard out or standard error, which will then show up in Stackdriver logging automatically. We can then configure log-based metrics from those that'll tell us how many errors or failures we're seeing, and we can use that as our SLI. Another option would be to use a proper instrumentation approach with something like OpenSenses. We won't get into the details of that library here, but you can watch Morgan do a great deep dive on it. We'll post a link to that in the description. Our third option to consider is Prometheus. It's a leading open source monitoring tool, and the good news is that the beta version of Stackdriver monitoring for Kubernetes supports it. Just install Prometheus into your cluster, and you're good to go. Export metrics in your application, and the Prometheus exporter will ship them right into the Stackdriver backend. So those are our three options, log metrics, open census, and Prometheus. No matter which one you choose, you will have metrics you can use to represent availability. Let's do that now. We can create an alerting policy using the gRPC completed RPCs metric to let us know when we get more failures than we allocate an error budget for. And we're done. I should note that while error rate is a great service level indicator, this alerting policy is not a true service level objective. It doesn't have a good way to represent what percentage of overall calls are failing, which is what we really need. That is provided by the service monitoring functionality in Stackdriver, which we'll cover in a future video. Now that we've got availability covered, let's take care of our latency SLI. As with availability, there's more than one way to measure application latency. We can use load balancer logs, an instrumentation library like OpenSenses, or even logging from the application itself. As before, let's start by creating an alerting policy. We'll select an open census latency metric as our condition and put a response time threshold on it. And there we go. We've now got our application running in Kubernetes and instrumented for monitoring. And Stackdriver is going to tell us if anything goes wrong that impacts latency or availability. When something happens that causes our availability or latency to fall below the thresholds we've defined, Stackdriver will create an incident. That incident can also be used to trigger notifications like email messages, integrations with other alert management systems, or even webhook calls to trigger remediation actions if we want. When the application is restored to a healthy state through some corrective actions, like rolling back a breaking change, the incident will be resolved. Come back next time when we take a deeper look at troubleshooting latency issues with Stackdriver Trace. That's it for this episode. This is the Stack Doctor. Stay healthy out there. <laughs>